There are a lot of amazing things to do in Ottawa outside and in during the winter months and we're rounding up all of our favorite things to do. Many people think you can only travel to Ottawa in the summer, but there are plenty of things to keep you busy in Canada's national capital during the cold months too. Let's do winter in Ottawa! The number one thing to do in Ottawa in winter is to skate on the world's largest ice rink. Look at this, skate on the Rideau Canal. We're here on the Rideau Canal out for our morning skate. It really is beautiful, it's a gorgeous morning. Uh, and they have a really awesome setup here. So you can go along, they have warming huts along the way. So if you get a bit chilly, you can go in and rest or you can use them to throw on your skates. Uh, this morning, it's so beautiful. I'm sitting out here on the picnic tables. They have eateries, be beaver tails, which is typically Canadian, all along here. So you're really gonna love yourself. I'm gonna tie up my skates and get skating on the world's largest skating. Make sure you get out on the Rideau Canal Skateway early in the morning. You have it all to yourself, except for a few commuters going to work. When the conditions are good, the Skateway is free and open to the public 24 hours a day. So here's where we start, baby, kilometer zero. There's 7.8 kilometers of trail around here, and you gotta do it when you come to Ottawa. There are skate rentals on the canal and shelves where you can leave your boots. That's at your own risk, but this is Canada, eh? So when you're skating on the canal or walking on the canal, you can stop and get some beaver tails, get some poutine, get some hot chocolate. They've got it all. Everybody loves a beaver tail. You got to get one each. Oh yeah, no share in here. It's all over my face. Me too. When you come to Ottawa, you have to have an authentic Canadian treat. This is maple syrup rolled in snow. Oh my gosh. It's so good, it's chewy. Mmm. We're going ice dragon boating here. And it's so exciting. This is Winter Lude 2019. I got to yell all of the strokes. I don't know what I'm doing, but. <laughs> demonstration and they are making a skate. This is pretty wild. We're at Winterlude and this is a big part of it, the ice carving competition. You do not pack at the ice. <laughs> Basically, so there's a flat side here yeah. and then there's the angle side here. Right. So you put the flat side down and you give it a bit of an angle yeah. and you just give it a gentle push. All right. It's all long. You can do it. You can if you want to. It depends on your style. Yeah. Exactly. You can work down to the middle here, into here. My, my turns out like this, and yours turns out like that. That's the difference.
Well, out here in the Byward Market, they have the presentation of all the winners of the Ice Sculpting Festival. Russia won this year. They are real winners around the world this year, I tell ya. There are so many things happening in Ottawa right now. When you walk down Spark Street, it's a walking street with a lot of bars. There's a burlesque show going on. Ottawa Pride is going on. A DJ is out. Everyone's dressed for it and having a blast. Air hockey on an ice table. What is more Canadian? The streets are filled with winter activities for all ages. And there are many special events taking place. It's a very quiet disco here because it's silent. So when you come to Winterlude, it happens on both sides of the river. So you have stuff happening in Gatineau and you have stuff happening over in Ottawa. So make sure you come to both sides. This is Papa! This is Numa! The fearless ice hogs are gonna go snow tubing! Woo! There are a lot of activities set up specifically for Winterlude. Winterlude takes place for three weeks in the month of February. Time for some tubing. I'm gonna get Deb to push me over. It looks pretty fast. We got some super fast conditions because we're the first people up here. That's a big dip too. It is. You wanna go to this one? No, no. Okay. Here we go. <laughs> this, looks, <laughs> this looks pretty steep. After checking that Dave was okay, we took a short break. They closed the hill we were on due to it being so fast and they didn't want any more accidents, so we went to a smaller, safer hill. Good luck. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> All right, we are doing the zip line now. It's a day of adventure over here in Gatineau. Final check, we're good to go. <laughs> this is high. frozen. We're at Park Omega just about an hour outside of Ottawa and this is going to be amazing because we are going to see all of Canada's epic wildlife. I can't wait to see what we have in store for the day. Well hi there. Oh you got yours. You just don't get up and close with, and personal with animals like this very often. And Serge told us that they are four kilometers away. They can roam anywhere. And then uh, they know that the carrots are coming, so they come on down later in the day. Okay, guy, I'm out. I'm done. So there is two thousand acres over two thousand acres of park here and what i love about it is the animals it's not a zoo it's the animals are actually in their natural habitat and you drive through and they just kind of go about their daily business other than uh, the deer and the elk everyone else just uh, does not bother with the cars um, and we are right in the bison section right now which is pretty spectacular it's 
pretty amazing here at the Interpretive Center because you get two different views of the wolves. You get them out here from an upper view and you can get up close down below. So we are at the wolf enclosure here. Nobody interacts with the wolves, but they have glass that they can come up and take a look at us. So we're kind of on display right now. And this was designed by Serge, our guide, and it's incredible. We're gonna go upstairs and take a look now. My philosophy is, uh, is uh, experience and discovery for the people and natural habitat for the animals. And I, those three ingredients were put into my thoughts when I've designed. And uh, the success is that the people live that experience, they discover the walls through the, uh, all of the information that we have uh, uh, down in the first floor. And the animals, they really live uh, a, a very natural life and they had their first litter, uh, the oh, first no year that they were here. Yeah. So if they give, they breed and mm -hmm. give a litter and you can see how at ease they are, that means it's a success. here in Quebec at Patinage en Forêt and it is a skating rink through the forest. And that's just a section of the trail. Just about 40 minutes outside of Ottawa is a three kilometer forest trail that has arena quality ice. You can rent skates here and get snacks too. So spend the day. We have come to a fork in the road. Which way do we go? This way. This is fun. It just goes on and on. I didn't expect it to be so long. Come on over to Ottawa for a weekend getaway in the winter. You can have rosy cheeks just like me. It's cute if you don't want to be on the trail. You have a little skating rink here to where you can practice your turns and twists and jumps. They've got a warm up area by the fire and a warm place inside where you can get snacks and warm up your feet and get your sta skates and rent your skates. And yeah, it's a pretty, pretty good setup. Come snowshoeing in Gatineau Park. It's beautiful. Gatineau is just across the river from Ottawa and there are plenty of snowshoeing and cross country ski trails to explore. There are more than 60 kilometers of trails in Gatineau and you can rent snowshoes from the lodge at Gatineau Park. And that's how it's done. Winter in Ottawa isn't all about the adventure. There are a lot of things to do indoors too. We are on our way to the Canadian Museum of Nature. I hear it's one of the best in Ottawa. The Canadian Museum of Nature is our favorite museum in Ottawa. It reminds you of that movie, A Night at the Museum. It has exhibits through nature, culture, and wildlife and history. I just love this exhibit with the National Film Board of Canada. They've used Aboriginal artists, and this is made of real ice. It's constantly changing, it melts, you can put your hands in it. Uh, it's ice people with art, it's living art. We are about to tour Rideau Hall. This is the home of the Governor General of Canada, who represents the Queen of England. Group tours can be booked in advance and they are offered daily. The Governor General does the same duties for Canada that the Queen does for England. The tour takes you through several rooms, including the beautiful tent room and the gorgeous ballroom. And here's a fun fact. You, the general public, can come and skate here at the Governor General's residence. How cool is that? And we go to the Canadian Science and Technology Museum. Woohoo! Looks like a pretty cool museum. Yeah. 
The Science and Technology Museum is filled with interactive exhibits that are fun for the whole family. It has everything you can think of to do with science, showcasing the evolution of science and technology through the ages. Well, this is a pretty cool museum for science buffs. Everything futuristic you can think of is here. Copper ice bar is quite cozy actually. You have the fire happening, there's no wind, I have a blanket. You can just sit here all night and drink some vodka. All right, so it's time for us to do the absolute vodka luge. This is pretty cool. I've chosen uh, raspberry vodka, which I never had before, but uh, I'm Canadian. I should be pretty good at this. All right. I will count down one. three, two, one. All right. All so. right. All right, three, two, one. There we go. Oh, oh that's hard. <laughs> like I got more on my face than I did my mouth. Woo! But you smell raspberry-esque. It's there nice. Go. <laughs> awesome. You gotta do this when you come here. Down to the Andes. Check this out. The ice bar is pretty cool. You got a beautiful view over Ottawa. And hey, you have a vodka luge. That's cool. Okay, we're on the first stop of our Sable food tour where we're going to be tasting a lot of maple syrup today. Where are we? Oh, we're starting off with the pure stuff here. Yeah, you have some little maple yeah. syrup shooters. Oh, yeah. If you haven't had Canadian maple syrup, you are totally missing out. Mm. This is the real deal, people. Oh, that's good. It's so rich. Sable Food Tour is a great way to get to know the local eateries in Ottawa. We had everything from maple syrup donuts to maple syrup cupcakes to maple syrup tea. Zen blend. Oh, we're going to be happy at home. All right, we're at the tea store here and I'm tasting the maple tea and it's so delicious. And there are more than 200 different teas in here. So you gotta come in when you're in the winter, at Winter Loop, have hot tea. All right, we're going into Fat Boy's Barbecue and you know what that means. I think we're having maple ribs. It's a really cool part of the tour. The chef, Rob Plummer, he comes out and he tells us about how they make all of the ribs. It's very impressive. I didn't even know that a place here in Ottawa, he went down and he trained down south in Memphis. So you know you're getting the real deal here. Well, you know how you know that it's a good rib? You have to try it naked first. Nothing on it, no sauces. Just get in there and taste the rub. Oh, wow. That is absolutely amazing. time on the Save Home Food Tour. When you're in Ottawa, you have to do it. Thank you, Sabrina. You were such a great My guy. My pleasure. You I'm know, so much so I loved it. Thanks so much. Ask for Sabrina when you come in Ottawa. The people of Ottawa know how to celebrate winter and enjoy the cold, but there are plenty of places to warm up to as well. Make sure you come in and warm up at the Byward Market. A great escape from the winter cold is to come into the Bordeaux Centre. It's a huge mall, lots of shopping. Another good warm up spot is Notre Dame Cathedral. It's beautiful inside and it's located right across from the National Gallery. If you visit one gallery in Ottawa, this is the one. The architecture is beautiful with a glass ceiling and foyer, and it's Canada's premier art gallery filled with permanent and visiting exhibits. Our favorite was definitely the Chapel of Our Lady of the Sacred Heart Convent. It has a choir playing from dozens of speakers, making you feel like you are right inside a huge cathedral. And that was Ottawa in winter. If you like our videos, make sure to subscribe to our channel. We post new videos every week. And make sure to click the bell so that you get notified.